This is human breast tissue. A good general rule of thumb is that when you look at a breast tissue from uh, the correct perspective, which is the way we're looking at it right now, you know that all of these little blue areas are lobules. There's a lobule, there's a lobule, there's a lobule, there's a lobule. You know that all of these areas which are basically pink, uh, which are connective tissue, is called stroma. There's stroma, there's stroma, there's stroma. Uh, the rule of thumb is that if the uh, stroma is about the same or even more abundant than the labials. This is probably a woman who uh, is not producing uh, much uh, milk. This could be somebody uh, that is postmenopausal. And basically, the more postmenopausal you get, the higher the ratio between the stroma and the glands or the labials. This is somebody who is not producing uh, milk. It could be somebody postmenopausal. Um, also notice that when you look within the labials, you do not see uh, any secretions either. These are ducts of the breast. Here's a duct within the labule. Here's a duct between labials. Here's an artery. Here's some fat. There's always a lot of fat in the breast. And uh, at the next lower phase, lower than labial, you have these individual structures here and here and here and here and here and here. And these are the actual asini. Sometimes they're called alveoli. And each asinus is separated by a small amount of connective tissue from other asini as well. Otherwise, this whole thing is a labial. And uh, sometimes if you see uh, a structure like this, which is strictly lined by perhaps a simple cuboidal type of epithelium, you know that this is a duct. And if you see an area like this, this is an acinus. And the acinus makes the milk and the ducts, whether they're intralabular or extralabular, they just transport the milk. The uh, ducts, I'm sorry, the acini have basically two kinds of cells. There are the actual epithelial cells, which are making the milk product. And then there will be little spindly cells like here. Oh, maybe here, possibly here, possibly here, right at the periphery of the acinar groups. And these are the myoepithelial cells. The myoepithelial cells contract and they assist the epithelial cells to express the milk product through these ducts, first intralabular, and then ultimately into larger ducts, uh, which are between the labials, like perhaps here. We'll find one quickly, I hope, um, like here. And then ultimately into larger ducts, and ultimately through the lactiferous ducts through the nipple. Uh, well, this is shotgun histology, and is there anything here you can't identify? You can identify lobules. You can identify small asini. You could identify ducts. You could identify bigger ducts. You could identify connective tissue called stroma, chiefly fibroblasts and collagen. You could identify fat. You could identify large arteries. You could identify veins or perhaps lymphatics. And I really don't think there is anything on here that I can click on on a random field that you can't identify. And for that reason, that is why I'm going to say thank you very much.